to Petonia Memorial Park in Lower Hutt for South Central women's football action in the National League. This is the top of the table clash between the two unbeaten sides, Capital Football and Southern United. Yes, both sides have two wins from two. Both have looked super solid. Glenn Lama's my name, and thank you very much for joining me for this match and very much looking forward to navigating the next couple of hours for you. Please say the weather is looking pretty good in Lower Hutt uh, today. We have uh, some fine weather, a temperature around 16 degrees, though there is a northerly breeze blowing, which is expected to freshen during the match. <laughs> Almost all set for the start of this fixture. Let's check out the two lineups now. And here is Capital Football side. A couple of changes from last week. Impressive youngsters Nina Kondo and Helena Errington are not playing today. So back comes number 14, Gemma Catherwood, while number 21, Lauren Owen, debuts for the side today. Elsewhere, Fibs, Football Ferns veteran Anna Green, Bryant Barrett, Ingham and the impressive attacking players, Ward Oliver Bell and Maine are all back. And the coach is Maya Vink. <laughs> Have a look at the Southern United side. They've come here with much the same side that won its game last week. Number five, Alina Durand gets a stint or a start today after being the sub last week. She comes in for Emily Morrison, who has missed, or will be missed today. Elsewhere, the core is back with Morton, Mackay Wright, Gerard, all there again. Kennard, rather, and Whitaker, Hislop, and Diaz, all threats up front. The coach is Graham Smale. So it's going to be Southern United in the blue and Capital Football in the yellow. And we're almost all set for a start. So referee is Lindsay Robinson, and we are all underway. So Southern United playing right to left. And Capital Football in the yellow. Capital United coming to this game with a 2-0 win over Central United in round number one, and a 3-1 win over the Canterbury United side last week. And Southern United. Had a win 2-1 over Canterbury in round one and then put Central away by 3-1 last week. So both sides in excellent form and the winner of this game will take a big step forward. We are in the, kind of approaching the midway stages after this weekend. We will have had one complete round robin. The structure of this tournament this year, South Central Series, we're going to have, we have four teams and they're all going to play each other twice, home and away. And then the winner of the leading team after those matches will be declared the winner. So no grand final. So this game here, if either of these two teams were to win it today, they would kick clear of all the other three teams. Now, Capital Football swinging forward. Really chance, but it's going to be gathered by Southern's keeper, Amelia Simmers. Just 18 years of age, first season with Southern United, former central player. Oliver Bell was trying to nudge that one forward. Ingham, she's fouled her opponent there, and it's going to be a Southern United free kick. Leading the goal scoring for Capital Football. Keep your eye on Kaylee Ward, number nine. She got two goals last week. Very good striker. The leading team's leading goal scorer last week. The Southern United's goals have been spread around. They've scored five, and no one scored more than one goal so far in this 2021 season. Off the 
chest there of Emma Main, but Southern United still in possession. Now here's a chance for Capital Football and almost the opening goal there. Very close there for Southern United. They almost had their defensive line breached big time there. An excellent pass has seen Capital really on the attack here. So it's going to be a corner. Anna Green over to take the corner. Football Ferns, Tokyo 2020 Olympian. Very good in that part of the game. It's unfortunately going to just uh, slide over that crossbar for a goal kick. So Southern United, towards the halfway they come. Dispossessed was his lot. And now here come Capital Football again. And scrambling there by Southern United and they managed to have possession again and a bit of space on the left this time. Bacon playing that one forward. Target of that one was Chelsea Whitaker. There's lot chasing it through for Southern United, but Molly Simons now for Capital Football. So two young keepers out there, Simons 16, rather 19, and Simmers 18. Good to see two young keepers coming through again. Lots of young players all through the league this year. And here comes Southern United, absorbed this initial attack from Capital. A hungry team, and here comes Whitaker quite get the connection now that has been kept in the field of play so Southern United get another opportunity and Simons who's been very solid so far for capital football in this league she's been really really one to watch the keeper for Capital, she has really not put a foot wrong. Now, this is Mackay Wright, the New Zealand under 17s player from three years ago. Part of that uh, team that really made a big splash in the world of football. Now, moved into senior football, age 20. Hopefully, she'll kick on and have a football ferns debut in the near future. She has Mackay right again. Flipped on nicely there by Hislop. But just didn't quite get that angle on the header. So opening stages uh, have been interesting. That clear-cut chance from Capital Football. And also we've seen now Southern United come into the game pretty well. With more possession. Pass and there is Southern United doing what they've done well so far in the tournament, just knocking the ball about, finding the open player. Quite 
quite an experienced side, this Southern United side. Just only uh, two or three debutants this season. They also picked up a couple of players as well from other teams. I mentioned Simmers, the keeper. The other one is Diaz, number 13, who's moved south from Canterbury United. Cut out there by Maine. That's good work from her. And now Ward chases this one through for Capital Football. She's a tricky player, is Kaylee Ward. Maine again. Oh, just didn't quite get accurate with that pass over to Ingham. And again, the wind may be just causing a few issues here at Patone. Touched on in the intro, that wind is expected to freshen. You can see the wind affecting the ball there for Simmers. So the Southern is playing into the breeze in this first half. The ground is more really configured north to south, but wind does favour capital football in the first half. That was Barrett. Nice interchange there from the capital players. Lovely ball there from Green. Oh, and Emma Main just couldn't get a good connection on that left foot, but the pass was pinpoint there from Anna Green. What a beauty. So... A reminder for Southern United's defenders to stay very aware of what Capital is able to cook up from the back. Barrett and Green, who have been solid as a rock in this tournament so far. Capital look to play positively again. It was Owen playing that one forward. Remember, she's on debut today for Capital Football. Ingham. Can't get a pass. Rose Morton, though, the captain for Southern United. Good hustling there from her. And it's going to be Southern United position again. So 10 minutes played. They're all in this top of the table clash. Touched on, if we get a winner, they'll go into nine points. Keep the team that loses this game in second. So this match here could have a huge, or the outcome of this match could have a huge bearing on the overall standings in a few weeks' time and could well decide the champion team this season. This ball's got to be effectively cleared by the Southern defenders and Maine almost got in there again. One thing Southern will do is stick at it. They will. It might be a little haphazard at times like most teams are, but they won't dis get discouraged. And generally, they'll put away the chances when they come to hand. Here's a nice run from Ingham. Owen. Phipps can't quite control it, but she's knocked it down nicely. Oh, Maine. Now, that one is still there, and it is Simmers who tidies up. Southern United. But again, Capital Football starting to threaten again. Coach Graham Smale's done a great job. He's in his first season as head coach of Southern United. And the assistant for three of the past four seasons, but now taking on the head coaching job. The detective in the New Zealand police. I bet all his players sit up and take notice when he's wanting to front a team talk. Here's Owen. Good to see Lauren Owen getting a chance. She plays her club football for Waterside Karori. She was the captain of that team this season. 13 games, two goals through the winter. She's been an unused sub in the last two games, but uh, didn't get on the pitch. So uh, she gets out there today. Remember, Errington 
and Kondo not playing today for Capital Football. Green. Ingham again. Nice play from her. Ingham. Good tackle coming in from Southern United. Kirsty higher. And the offside flag is up there on his lot. Kirsty High has already had a couple of nice touches for Southern United. The Southlander. With an Eden technical player. And she's proved very useful for her team this season so far. Zoe Barrett going back for this one for Capital. One of a number of teenagers in this Capital football side. So these two teams unbeaten. The other two teams, Central and Canterbury, have both lost their games so far. So, chance for them when they meet later on in the weekend to get their first points again this season. It's Gemma Cathal with the throw in here. Back to Green who's just slotted back into that uh, central left back position. Fibs running through here for Capital Football. Very busy player, the captain. He was an example of her tenacity there as Maine tries to find Ward. It's going to fall for Ingham. No, it doesn't. Southern United are able to partially clear it. Main might have a crack from long range she does but it's well over the crossbar that time but still the intent was good there from Emma Main it's uh, good to see players having the confidence to shoot from long range and it's certainly a fantastic dynamic way of playing football you see goals like that go in now there's some good high pressing here from Oliver Bell Simmons under a bit of pressure and good work off the ball there from those strikers from Wellington's capital football side. And they've earned themselves an attacking throw-in. Alan Phibbs with the throw-in. Main squeezing between those two defenders beautifully there. And she's earned a corner. So good work here from capital. Firstly to earn the attacking throw-in and now the corner and a couple of goals that capital have scored this season have come from corners taken by anna green and there is another chance for capital to score another one again Oh, it's flicked and almost gone in again, and it's just deflected wide. Not deliberately, it appeared off that uh, that uh, that uh, Southern defender. Close call there for Southern United, but they survived just once more. Another corner. Ingham to take this one. Still in the area, but now cleared by the team in blue. Capital look to keep the pressure on. Kaylee Ward, brilliant chasing from her. And that was Bacon guiding that one to safety, but the pressure is 
building on this Southern United defence right now. But they're hanging in there. Phipps and Main. Well, it's going to be another corner. Well, in the well, first two games of the season, Southern United have been they've actually conceded the first goal of the game in both of the matches, but come from deficits to win. So if that was to happen again here, I'm sure their attitude would not be rocked. They're doing their best to try and keep this capital football out, outfit out. But this is a period of sustained pressure here from Capital. Green with that corner again. And that one has a bit more authority in it. And now Southern have won the throw in and have a chance to move forward here. So good work by Southern United. Uh, pinned deep in their own territory there for a good five minutes, but uh, haven't conceded. Simmons under pressure. Kai Wright, good accurate pass. This is good work from Southern. Diaz. His lot was letting it go for a teammate, but unfortunately, it was partially cut out. Now, that was Morton's pass. Kai Wright again. The Ron, the passing it back to Kai Wright again, but again this pressing. Defence is pretty good by Capital Football. Let's see if Southern have broken it down this time though. Turn by Whitaker, but Barrett has done a good job to shepherd her opponent. Approach the 20 minute mark of this. South Central Women's Football Game in the New Zealand National League for 2021. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Two unbeaten teams. His lot couldn't quite connect that one. And uh, Simons has got it under control. Southern United in the blue. Capital football in the yellow. Entertaining and competitive match so far. Nice touch. Main bursting through. So good. Here's Ward. Ward trying to shrug off that defender. Now she's double teamed. Excellent work from Hannah Mackay right there. To keep the pressure on Ward there. She shut the space down really well there. Ron has lost it. Ingham's in there trying to win it back. And she's done beautifully there, Olivia Ingham. Bryant to Fibs. That was Barrett. Catherwood for Capital. Good run. Didn't quite get the angle on it to cross it in. Good line, good work from Southern, they're coming forward again here. Fibs, though, nice anticipation from her. Just stops the momentum a little bit there. Much 
needed for her team. Well, that really held up in the wind that time. Wind is getting stronger. Forecast to strengthen through the day in the Wellington region today. That's nice control by Hislop. Here's, oh, oh, look out, there could be a chance here. Diaz almost scored there for Southern United. Just didn't quite have the power on the header. It up been a terrific ball from Hislop. That was Southern United's best chance in the game so far. That had just a bit more heat on it from Diaz. That would have gone in. So chances, clear-cut chances now for both teams in the game. Let's have a look at that again. Well, we're not going to get a replay of it, but it was close call. It's a good turn. Kaylee Ward at her best again. Just such a good all-round striker, Kaylee Ward. She's got a lovely touch. Knows when to keep the momentum going through the middle with her one-touch passing, and she's got a good turn on her. Lethal finisher. Green. Bad uh, ball in there. So, Amelia Simmers did well for Southern. Nice control from Hislop, and that's a good ball. Chasing through was Chelsea Whitaker. Main, good skills. Off goes Emma Main. Yeah, Southern United know the attacking threat of Main. Double teamed her effectively on that occasion. Lop again. Has she timed her pass nicely there to Deronde? She's on snow. She's offside. She did look offside, but the decision didn't come through immediately from the referee or the assistant on the far side, Aiden Brown. But Deronde got herself into good position in the middle there. Islop has been very good for Southern United early in this game. She's only 20. She's already in her fourth season for Southern United. Keep your eye on number 10. If she keeps playing the way she has in this game, she's going to be a big star at it at the end of it. Kennard coming through. Tries to find Hislop again. Good work from Amy Hislop once again. Power playing it forward. Continues her run, Tony Power. Green's clearance wasn't overly effective there. And here's Hislop again. Oh, Bacon gets the ball. Didn't look like she was going to get it initially. Whitaker with the cross. And there's the chance. But again, not the power that Lena Durand was looking for. And it's comfortably in the palms there of Molly Simons. But still some good work by... Southern United have absorbed a lot of pressure in this game so far, but uh, as we've seen in their previous two wins, it hasn't affected them. Ha hasn't affected them rather when they get possession of the ball. Still, 
and a good head space to move forward and put pressure on their opponents. Green goes short to Ingham. Owen over to Catherwood. Capital football swinging forward here. Swing it back around. Alan Phipps has come forward. She's waiting just outside the penalty area. Bryant two. Challenge from Tony Power, Southern United, the 20 year old. Oh, that was just a little too close to Amy Hislop for Capitals liking, I suspect, but in the end, it was a well timed pass from Anna Green. It goes direct this time. up to the halfway mark if you just join the broadcast still in the law between these two sides throw and conceded there by capital lena lena Durand did well Good work. Here comes Diaz. And a good young player who's just 16 years old, remember, and she looks very comfortable playing at this level. Now, Emma Main with all her pace. Oh, good pass. Was oh, just a touch strong, in fact, as it turned out for Pepe Oliver Bell. Southern can come away with it again. Yes, Olivia Ingham, number seven, playing that left attacking midfield position for Capital. Hugely promising player. Already, this is her second season at this level. Seems destined for national honours at some stage. Of course, that's uh, going to be something we're going to focus on too. Now with the, of course, the underage International program severely disrupted over the last 80 months because of COVID. Fingers crossed we can see our national under 20s and under 17s get back in action next year with World Cups looming in both age groups. And uh, some of these players could get the chance to represent their country. And Simmers in control of that one. Looked like it was just going wide anyway, but she didn't take the risk. A good keeping by the 18-year-old keeper. A good pick up from Central. And for Otago University in the Southern Premier League this year. Main again. Pass to Ward was good, but Ward, again, the wind takes the ball over the byline and it's going to be a goal kick once again. Diaz almost losing it for her team. Good pressure again coming from Capital, though there is a foul there and it's going to be the Southern United free kick. Hannah Mackay Wright to take it.
his lot. Difficult one for her to control. Mangum once again. The back to Green. Mangum is almost half the age of Anna Green. But uh, Green provides some really good stability at the back for Capital Football with those 70. Two games for New Zealand under her belt. And four Olympics as well. Number of World Cups. Only imagine what that brings to what experience and knowledge that can be passed on to the young players in a team. Someone like Anna Green in the lineup. Southern United don't have that experience, but they do have. Kelsey Kennard in their side is in her 10th season, so she's been around the traps as well. She was playing in that defensive central position alongside Mackay Wright. Now here comes Capital Football again, and Ingham wins the throw in. Ward it is. with that cross pretty good one too to the far post and Simmers under pressure she's got it that's excellent keeping good courageous work from Amelia Simmers you have to put your body on the line sometimes when you're a keeper and she did really well there just over 10 to play until half time Couldn't quite control it, but it's back in the hands now of Chelsea Whitaker. Chelsea Kennard again. Whitaker. Nicely anticipated by Phibbs, who again is showing out for capital. Alan Phibbs right back, having a good season. Green. Here's Green again. Instructions from Maya Vink, the coach for Capital Football. And a fine job getting the team up and ready for this tournament so far. Zoe Barrett, lovely pass. Ingham again. A pass not going to a teammate that time. And Diaz, here's one for his lop to chase. She's through. Here's his lop. Hislop, oh, no power on it there from Amy Hislop. Disappointed that she wouldn't have got some real venom into that one. So an absorbing first half here. Both sides look capable of scoring. And who knows, it might only take one goal in this match. Oliver Bell back to Ingham, but good work on her. But Owen is there to pick it up for Capital. Phibbs has it. Good challenge on Emma Main and... Main will concede the free kick.
Great pass, and she's through. Here's a chance. Simons. Oh, here's a chance for Southern, and she's there. And Southern take the lead. A scrambling goal, and it's Kirsty Heyer who's got it in. Well, great work from Southern United, and again, in fact, it's Whitaker. No, it is Heyer. Heyer, good following up from her. And excellent tenacity again from Southern United. And they get the opening goal and lead 1-0. Great effort from their players again. Coach Smale's done a fantastic job to get the attitude spot on in his players. And they are rewarded with the lead. Tony Power cuts that one out. Now let's see how Capital responds. This is the first time they've been, high, been behind on the scoreboard this season. So be interesting to see if we notice any strategic or mental shifts in their play. For Whitaker. It's an important one there for Kennard to get under under for Southern United. Could end up anywhere. Now Ward chasing this one through. But Mackay Wright has cleared it away and there's higher. Good skills from her again. Great time to score two with less than ten to play until half time. Owen. Nice switch over to the other side from Anna Green. Now Phipps. Bryant. Oh, had a cut out and his lot read that one. Well, again, that could have easily deflected into her path and Capital would have been in all sorts of trouble. Here's Ward. Oliver Bell. And Mackay Wright cuts it out. Just under five to play now until half time. The goal coming in this 37th minute. To Kirsty Heyer, her first goal of the season. Nicely cut out there. Capital football coming forward here in transition. Oliver Bell. In the linking today of the players up front, perhaps in the last five to ten minutes, not been as super sharp as perhaps it has been in the previous two games. And you can credit Southern United's defence for that. So a bit of scoreboard pressure maybe. And the passing's nice and crisp and accurate from Southern United. His lop has done really well. Drop back in to midfield there for a moment as Mackay Wright tries to find power, but she couldn't control that one, Tony Power. Again, a good period of play there by Southern United. They held the ball for a good couple of minutes. Fall for Oliver Bell. Ingham can't link up. And there is another example of the connection, not quite as crisp as it has been in this first half for Capital. Oh dear, Fibs has lost it and she's gone down with an injury as well. His lot there. 
Green forced to muscle up, and there's going to be a stoppage. So something happened to Alan Fibbs there. And Capital Football will have you worried about her. Oh dear, looks like her knee. Well, let's hope that's not serious because she's been terrific for Capital Football so far this season. 27 years of age now. I mean, in this capital football side for a number of seasons, they boot all the way back in 2013. And there does seem some, con some concern around that right knee, which is a real bummer for the capital football captain. And there was no real collision with the player was there, which uh, suggests something has gone wrong there. Well, if it's muscular, it shouldn't be too bad, but if it's inside the knee, of course, that could be real problematic for her. Oh, what a shame, Alan Phibbs. At least she's be able to move the knee, but sometimes, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean a good sign. So Southern United getting that goal in the 37th minute. Beautifully finished off by Kirsty Higher. Great example and following up just behind the, the play. Finishing it off nicely. So Alan Phibbs out of the game. Capital Football's bench today. Gemma Robertson, Kaylin Patterson, Olivia Gibbs and Rosie Wilde. Who's, she gets on the pitch today, will debut the season two. Lop again, big imposing forward, isn't she? So Kennedy Bryant just dropping back into that right back position for the meantime for Capital Football as we now are in added time in this first half. So there is the sub being made now. So Phipps won't be back. So that injury to Ellen Phipps will have an impact. She will be missed. Now Emma Main, there's a crack from long range, but it's straight at Simmers. chance perhaps for Southern United Whitaker couldn't get the ball there here's a chance from Bacon in Simons taking control of that one so one goal to nil a couple of minutes to be played because of that injury to Phipps space on the left here for Catherwood gets it back continues her run too excellent play quite link up with Oliver Bell and power clears it away but the pressure will remain on the Southern United defense right at the end of this first half 
Again, communication just not quite there for Capital Football. And a chance here for Southern United to break. His lobs on her lonesome, but couldn't quite get that dominance through the middle as they were looking for. So that will end the first half. And what's been an entertaining first half, and it's Southern United who deservedly have the lead with that goal coming in the 37th minute to Kirsty Heyer in this top of the table clash here at Patoni. And it is Southern United leading Capital Football one goal to nil.
Sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid The brighter days are on their way
I'ma hit the gas once I tap it, I'm gone. Faster than the flash when I get in this zone. Higher than the plane, stay up by my lane. Oh, I do it different and they really can't explain. Let me elevate, let me elevate you. 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 Smoke rising like a locomotive. I'm on my go, so you know the motive. It's like they voting and I'm throat to polling. Giving them info like I got the folder open. On a Kawasaki with a Motorola. I'm Samsung and on the open ocean. On the metro, chasing escrow. You backsliding while I breaststroke. Sidewinding, I'm high rising. I'm so fly that I'm skydiving. It's no problems, there's no hiding. Got other things that I'm worried about. Man, I'm gonna be gone free, trying to get into the mood though. Hop into the whip, got my mind on my paper. I wouldn't be mad if you wanna get it too, yo. But I ain't got time, so I gotta see you so later. They think that I'm soulless like Tupac Pitch. Should me rolling. Yeah. I be music composing while trying to open this lotus. I'm like a camera that's trying to capture my purpose is focused. Yeah. You out of options, I'm like a doctor. I'll double the dosage. Oh yeah, I work with the medics. I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple con- Well, thank you for joining us here for Tony Memorial Park in Lower Hutt. We're ready for the second half of this South Central Women's Football Match in the National League 2021. It is Southern United in the blue leading 1-0 at halftime. Both teams unbeaten coming into this clash. The referee Lindsay Robinson gets us underway for the last 45 minutes. Southern United's enthusiasm and urgency is to be highly commended. Uh, it's been a real feature of their play, not only in this first half, but in the two games that they've won as well. And Ingham's just lost it out over the sideline there. Goal coming in the 37th minute from Kirsty Heyer, number eight. Her first goal of the season and Another example, perhaps, of how Southern United are playing as a real team. They've now scored six goals this season, and they have six different goal scorers. They're not relying on just one player to put the ball in the back of the net. It's always sign of a, a sign of a good side, good all-round football team. Now, Green has it for Capital Football, so fantastic work from Southern, but this Capital Football side is an, is an excellent, well-drilled outfit, and their wins over Canterbury United and Central Football have been very impressive so far this season. So don't count the home team out in this contest as Bryant... Gives it back to Green. Nice work from Ingham. And now Oliver Bell. And not controlled by Catherwood. Repeating the news just before half time as well. Alan Phibbs, the captain from Capital Football, looks like she tweaked a knee and is out of the game. And that's a big loss for Capital Football. She's a very busy, urgent player. Good captain. As we see Capital come forward here and Simmers has got it on the second grab. So you can see Kaylee Ward there has taken over the captaincy of this Capital football side. She's got the armband on there. Southern United playing with the wind in this second half. Oh, it's been turned over and here comes Hislop. Hislop. Oh, so close to that lead being doubled. A very close call off the defensive error from Capital Football. And his lot was all over that one. And that was within a whisker of a 2-0 lead. Well, that was a close call for sure. Now, let's see if Capital can... Put that behind them. That's great ball from Kaylee Ward. But check out all the blue jumpers back there. There's plenty of them. 
Roni is this team playing with a good attitude, Southern United, but they have excellent fitness levels as well. This is Lauren Owen to take the throw in. Kennard. Green takes it quickly. Oh, Owen, it sneaked under her right foot there. Good challenge coming in, and for a moment I thought Capital Football might move forward, but it's 50-50 ball has fallen nicely here for Southern United, and Hislop using her imposing power again. Well, good challenge coming in from Capital Football. Hislop has been creating havoc. All the games that she's played this season, Amy Hislop, fourth season in the squad. Plays her football for Otago University, captain this season. Well, it's not pretty coming out into Southern Tar from Capital, but they did it effectively. But they haven't held the ball for too long. Bell couldn't control it, but Ingham. Nice work, Ingham. Almost through, but again, good challenge coming in from Power. His lot. Power plays it forward. It's Diaz. Nicely controlled by Mackay Wright. Morton plays it forward again for a Southern. They're looking solid here. Bacon coming through. Oh, yes. Oh, unfortunately, just couldn't quite get the angle on the shot. But what a run there to create the opportunity. Capital. Well, the big uh, challenge for them is Southern look to be getting stronger as the game goes on. Move forward there by Rose Morton. And uh, she. Well, that ball took a deflection, so Bacon to take the throw in. Well, again, a back pass going awry there, and it's a good effort by Molly Simons to come way out of her area and save the day again for Capital Football. Excellent goalkeeping. Gee whiz, some of these back passes have not been going to plan. Green gets that one right. Yeah. Some of the pressure on this capital football team at the moment is self-imposed. Durand plays it forward to Diaz. Mikey Diaz still has it. Or does she? Ingham. Back to help her team. Pippi Oliver Bell, good run from Ingham, continues it. Kennedy Bryant. Green with a one touch pass, a lovely one to Ingham. That's good play. Here comes Ward into the area. Ward, oh, just. Escaped her right foot just for a moment there, but again, some good hustling defending from those Southern United players. Oh, 
So one goal to nil it remains. Higher the goal in the 37th minute. Eight minutes before half time. Green can't clear the ball effectively. But Bryant is there to save the day for Capital. Diaz. Oh, Messi play and Hislop has picked it up. See what Diaz can do here. This gives chance for Molly Simons to tidy up for Capital, playing into the wind in this second half. Strengthening wind blowing from left to right. Good work from Maine as she comes forward here. Again, the pass, just not finding the feet there of Kaylee Ward. Owen. Here's a chance for Capital. Swing it forward near post just wide. Well, that was better from Capital. And it's out for a corner. Just uh, harking back to those connections up front between midfield and attack for Capital Football. Remember, no Errington this week, no Condo. Just wonder if the absence of those two players is having an impact. On Capitals output today as Olivia Ingham goes over to take the corner. Gee whiz, that wind is really proving an issue for her. There's a chance on goal, but Diaz is there. And Simmons does well to save the long ranger. And now one could have been tricky for her because when the ball threads its way through a bunch of players, keepers can be unsighted. But, uh, she did well to get down and smother it. It was Wild who came onto the field to replace Alan Phibbs with that injury late in the first half. His lot for Southern. Oh, good work. Wild, a 23-year-old. First game of the season for her. Didn't feature in round one or two. It's debuted, though. Well, debuted for Capital back in 2017. So, good experience player to come on for Capital. Good run here from Oliver Bell. Oh, she's lost it again. Just as you think Southern United are going to be beaten, back they come and win the ball. And uh, that takes, again, good commitment. Good heads up play from them all the way through this match. Gemma Catherwood here for Capital. Early ball in this time, but Simmons has got it. So Anna Green is it back to Wild. Main. That's better. Owens in space. Oliver Bell gets the ball early this time. 
Good movement of the ball that time from Capital. Green. Mr. Lobbett over to Ward. It's a beautiful ball to Kaylee Ward. Ward can't link up with a teammate again. And Southern get rid of it. Go back, go Capital. Catherwood. Green off the right foot this time, and that's a good ball to Katie Ward again. Ah, oh, she got a bit too cute there, Kaylee Ward, perhaps. But uh, Capital keep the pressure on. 15 minutes play now in the second half. Green. He's taken a deflection, awkwardly bouncing. Ward, here's Ingham. Ward again, she's on side. Still not cleared, is it? Oh, yes, that's nicely done by the goal scorer higher. And she has got some green pasture in front of her. Oh, beautiful ball to Hislop. And Hislop's shot is saved by Simons. Solid play out of their own end there from Southern United. Excellent play from Higher and Hislop again. It's going to be a corner. Good ball, wasn't it? And Hislop did exactly the right thing there. Took the shot. Simon's positioning was spot on too. For Capital, the keeper. Again, that ball is, the wind's going to have fun with that ball. Best you take it quickly. Oh, it's a dangerous ball into the area. Southern United will keep the pressure on. in the field of play just by Tony Power. Oh, it's over that foot there of Rose Morton. And now Capital have it through Bryant. That puts pressure on Owen, who's forced to go all the way back here. But it's not a bad thing for Capital as they have to build from the back again. Pressure on the defender by Southern. Capital making hard work of it at the moment. Getting it out from their defensive end. Let's try the switch play. Ingham controls it nicely. Bryant tries to find Owen and has found her. Main is well looked after by Kennard and Kai Wright, the defensive centre backs for Southern. Looks like we're going to get a sub for Southern uh, for Capital. It's Kaylin Patterson picking up the ball there, the defender. She's come into the game from Petone, local club here. Didn't get a run last week against Canterbury United, but back in the lineup today. Alan Patterson, just 19 years of age.
Bryant. Good work from here. Wild Owen almost loses it though. Capital can swing forward here, but defenders are back here for Southern. Oh, that forces a couple of those forwards just to drop back a touch. This is looking better for Capital. Main tries to flick it over, and it's just over the bar. Southern not clearing that one effectively. Capital have got it again. Well, this would be some victory for Southern if they could kick on here and win this. Remember, last year's final was between Canterbury United and Capital Football. And here we are 12 months later. Southern go on and win this game. They will have beaten both finalists last season, which will be a great uh, achievement for them. But there's still 25 minutes to play. And to be able to secure that fine achievement. Of course, they'll put themselves in the, in the box seat halfway through this South Central National League Series this season as they seek to win the title and they will believe strongly that they can go on and win the title they go on and win this game having posted maybe three wins in a row <laughs> but there's still plenty of time here for capital comeback Patterson plays it to Ingham. His lock dishes it off. Whitaker, in fact, that's the Rond who is up there pressuring the defenders again, but Capital have come out of it. Surely at some stage, one of those little through balls is going to stick here for Ward and Co up front. Ingham. Oliver Bell. Now Owen. Amelia Simmers did well, though. But it's still Capital, who are enjoying a good period of play here. Asking questions again of that Southern United defence. And again, they're up to task, and that's excellent work. There is space behind in midfield here for Southern to transition again. Unfortunately, that was close to getting through to his lot, but... Simon's not taking any risks, so Southern will swing on to attack again. This is Tony Power to take the throw in. Wow, one of the basic unforced errors we've seen in the match so far, particularly from Southern. We haven't seen any of that really in the match. Oh, that touch is not good enough. And here comes Haya. Whitaker comes through. She tries to find power on the Hislop again. And the referee is happy with that collision. And it's play on. Southern have it back again. Lovely ball there from Renee Bacon. Near post is the target. It was Hislop. 
And that's come off a capital player and will be a corner. Oh, it's close to getting on target again. And a couple of those taller Southern United players were in there creating havoc. And it's still work to do for Capital Football to come out again. Now all those Southern United players pressing high again. Oh, it's been turned over. Here comes Main. Again, the pass is ill directed. It's going to be blue ball. Tony Power again. Higher. Good work, and that's an interesting ball, but just a touch too strong that time in the wind. Picked up by Simon, so 20 minutes to play. We still are at the halftime score of 1-0, with High getting that goal in the 37th minute. Oh, it's gone over her foot again. And just a little touch is not there for Capital Football so far in this game. Green now can come forward. Maybe a change of pace from her can inject herself in to this Capital Football attack. Diaz sneaks through almost with a nice pass. That's going to be blue ball. Looks like another sub is coming on here in this contest. Number 17 for Southern is Ruby Anderson. And she's coming on for Hislop, whose day is done. Interesting call there by Coach Smale to take out Amy Hislop. She's had a very good game. But he has plenty of strike power on the subs bench today. Lucas, Anderson, Kennedy, all strikers. And Anderson comes on, the 18-year-old. Fourth season in the squad, originally from Timaru. Ward chases it through. And Capital win the throw in. Ward takes it quickly. Can't find someone in the centre again. And there's the wind taking that ball. Bryant does very well. Kennedy Bryant, good ball to Ward. Brings Patterson in. And we've got offside play on the far side. or the infringement rather just before I'm going, I'm going. Oh, no. very accomplished performance from Southern United a couple of players too that have featured it in the To that in just a moment as Ward will earn the corner. Yeah, no Chantel Smith today, no Emily Morrison today either. A couple of players in the wings there. 
Green. Got to be good with this cross, but again, the Southern United players doing a very good job of getting themselves between the ball and the goal. Effectively, a blue wall being created constantly in this match. And Capital have not breached it. Patterson. And that will be a goal kick. Was an excellent work off the ball there from Pepe Oliver Bell to win the throw in. Well, oh, Patterson's lost it. Diaz wins back the ball for Southern. Oh, come on, come on, Lindsay. Anderson wins the free kick. Don't panic, you've got time, girls. You've got time. Hannah. Hannah Mackay right to take the free kick. The win really affecting the poor placement again. So still one goal to nil it is. The team in blue, Southern United. In front and we have 15 minutes to play. Free kick to Capital. You're enjoying the coverage. Round three clash here at Patoni Memorial Park in Lower Hutt. Addison again easily read by the Southern United team. Ruby Anderson just coming into the game there, the number 17 to replace Islop. Anderson, 13 games for Dunedin Technical this season, nine goals. So. She knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. So it came off Anna Green, so it's going to be a sudden throw. No. Interesting call by the officials. Well, there we are. It has been changed now. Yes, good challenge on her by Patterson, but she wins the ball back, but concedes the free kick. Green taking it quickly, wants to keep her team nice and urgent. So Green to swing it in, it seems. Once again, the wind blowing it. And a big effect on Capitals. Push to move forward in the second half. Temperature around 16 degrees, remember, with the wind strengthening into the faces of the Capital football side in this second half. So far, Southern United have looked very solid at the back. Yes, there were a few half chances for Capital in the first half. But there's been nothing really solid for them that they've managed to create in the second half at all. But there are still 12 minutes to play. Owen. Nice hand. Played 
for by Wild. Again, no. Nothing really for Ward to sneak on to there up front for Capital. Barrett to take the throw in. Pressure coming up front here. Simon Slow for Capital. It's good work. Olivia Gibbs is out there now. Daily season member in her third appearance now for Capital. Coming off the subs bench in each of the three games of the season so far. There is Ingham. Green playing it forward. Nice leave there by Ingham. It was Ward coming in field here. Here's a chance. And it's just wide again. Good work coming through from Capital. That was excellent play that time. Good pass from Ward. And it was Simmers with a good stop at the near post. So here comes some pressure. Green to take the corner. Well done. Well, it was played at by Southern. Just wondered whether that came clean off the head there of a capital player and could have been rolling out for a goal kick. Again. And that wind really giving Southern some breathing space there. Rosie Wild. Only Ward chasing this one through, looking to make a nuisance of herself. She might have won the throw in there off Tony Power. She has. Ingham. Oh, and that will be a corner, won't it? Oh, goal kick. Interesting call by Lindsay Robinson, the referee there, who's a judge. It came off Ingham before it went out. Green. Oh, Ingham couldn't control it. Wild. Green goes direct again. Cut out by Kai Wright. And on the initial play, Bryant, good work. Nicely played there by Captain Kelsey Kennard. Rather the most experienced player in the team, Kelsey Kennard. In fact, they have some good leaders in their side too, Southern. Many of these players captain their club teams. Kennard, one of them. Co-captain with Chelsea Whitaker at the Dunedin Technical Club. Of course, Rose Morton captains this team. And uh, we have the Amy Hislop captaining the Otago University Club team. And also we have Renee Bacon, a captain at her club team as well, Rosalind Wakari. So lots of leaders out there for Southern United, which is, again, another sign of a good team. It's good work from Bryant. Can she link up here? Oh, here's a chance. Still there for Capital. Pippi Oliver Bell. Oh, and in the end, it's come to nothing again. I did put 13, didn't I? So a couple of chances coming Capitals' way in these last few minutes. But still, no goal. Pressing hard for that equaliser. Just 
making up my own subs. Diaz couldn't control it. Now Ingham scored a brilliant goal last week to seal her team's win over Canterbury United. And it came right at the end of the game too as Kaylee Ward got the other two goals last week. Has to cook something up again. Green gives Pepe Oliver Bell one to chase. Six minutes to play. Another sub, it seems. So on comes number 14, Juliet Lucas, another striker, 18 years of age. Five goals in 18 games for Rosalind Wakiri. Green. Great ball. Terrific ball into Kaylee Ward, but she was double teamed and was always going to find it tough to sneak through there. for Capital. She'll push forward again now. And that was comfortably cut out again by Southern United. So Lucas coming on for Diaz, who put in a good shift in those 85 minutes. Really good pick up for Southern. He played Canterbury United the last two seasons. Now Green has the opportunity to come forward here. Again, all those direct balls have been well handled by that defence. And again, it's Southern United back in possession. Morton. Giving one for Lucas to chase. He's just come onto the field. Going to be a throw-in for Capital. Four minutes to play. Now they have a couple of minutes of added time, but nothing too substantial. Another sub, I think, is about to be made. What's happening here? So it's going to be an injury break and look out the look at the players are all off to have a drink tony tower is down is this an injury or is this just a uh one of these tactical injuries as you see in sports sometimes an opportunity for both coaches just to bark out some instructions over these last few minutes Tony Power, good shift on the right back position today. He's 20 years old. Another good player coming through the, the system for Southern. So play restarting now. Ingham. Yep, didn't take a deflection, so it's going to be a throw in to Southern. Snapped over the head there of those players. Well, good challenge coming in, but not to be for Capital and Southern United. Oh, that is going to escape the right foot there of Tony Power. Thank you. 
Good work from Anderson, but coming through was Robertson for Capital. Wasn't to be. Green cutting it out for Capital. Oh, it's good work off the ball here from Southern. Green is there to take possession for Capital. Capital have it as we enter the last couple of minutes. Main. Hasn't quite had the impact on this game as she has had in other games. Which is again a credit to the Southern United defence. Another sub coming into the contest. is Georgia Kennedy. You can just see you coming into frame there. The 16-year-old youngest player in the squad for Southern United this season. She's into the game for a couple of minutes. Kennard to clear this one. Or will she? The work from her. But here's Capital pressing here for the equalising goal again. Green coming forward. Ingham there, also Ward, not to be though, couldn't find the heads of either of those two players. And it's scrambled clear again. Quickly taken by Patterson. Robertson has lost it. Green. So we're in added time now. Green plays it forward, perhaps, for one of the last times in the game. Kaylee Ward controls it. Come on, girls, Again, those Southern defenders do an excellent job of getting them, getting in the road of those balls. And in the end, it's a, another very good, comfortable defensive play from Southern United. Green sneaks in here, continues to run forward, Anna Green. Here's a chance. Ward, though, is from an offside position and couldn't get there. And it's going to be a goal kick. Despite Anna Green's efforts to try and win the ball back for her team. And Southern backing themselves to bring it forward. Go for the big long ball. They win the throw and do Southern. Come on, girls, last <laughs> Lucas. She's lost it. And here comes Patterson. All the way back, it's ambitious play from Simons. All that's doing is soaking up pressure seconds. And some good pressure coming forward there from Southern again. So Green will get one last opportunity in these last couple of minutes. Kaylin Patterson again. Green playing it forward. Ward stretches the legs. Nice turn. Here's a chance. Oh, dear. 
Still in the field of play, though. Good pressure by Southern United in their own area again. It's still there, though, for Capital. Simmers did brilliantly to get rid of it, and it's a corner. No Capital get enthusiastic one more time. Can they find the equaliser at the death there? Six players in the area, another two just hovering out the back. Might as well push everyone forward, I reckon. Pretty much last throw of the dice here. It's there, is it there for Capital? Southern clear it. It's looking pretty good for Southern. Ingham going back. Simons. Southern United trying to get everyone behind the ball. Capital take it quickly. Capital win the throw in. We're into the last minute. Green. Good authoritative header. Coming from those Southern defenders again. Bryant. Ingham, here's a chance maybe. No, Ward can't get there. And it's cleared away by Southern. That gets it done. And it's Southern United who go to the top of the table. And they have won three straight. To start the South Central Women's Football Series, they've beaten all the other three teams in round one. A brilliant effort from a team based out of Dunedin. The goal coming in the 37th minute, eight minutes before half time, when Kirsty Hire followed one in to get the Southerners in front in, uh, at half time. But in fairness to them, they played very well in the second half to shut out this capital football side. Last year's beaten finalists. So wonderful effort from Southern United to take maximum points. They go to nine competition points now with three wins. Capital Football will stay second after the weekend with six. So there we are, an entertaining game. A tough game in many ways. But uh, Southern United have got the job done here at Petoni Memorial Park today. Beating Capital Football, one goal to nil. Thanks for watching. Hey, Glenn, how you doing? Good, man. Thank you, Mitch. Um, if you're happy to hold on the line for a second, I'd really like to check this, um, this yes. Zoom quality issue that you're seeing. I want to see if I can fix it before next time. Okay, no problem. Uh, are you able to hold for just five minutes while I get the... Yeah, sure, man. No, no problem, mate. No problem. Awesome. Thanks so much. Okay.